Planting seedlings gives us a head start on the garden. So that means that we're putting plants in that are large enough quite often to deal with any slugs or snails that might have a go at them overnight. They've also established a root structure too, which means that they're slightly more um, resilient in terms of dealing with the weather conditions and the moisture in the soil. So whether you've sown your own seedlings or you've bought them from um, a garden centre or shop, the thing you want to check is that they're kind of stout, well grown and ready to go. So these lesser seedlings here, they stand up when I brush my hand across them. They're about the same size as the punnet beneath them. So these are good seedlings and these are ready to go into the garden. The first thing I need to do is make sure that the soil is dug through to the right depth. So the roots of these seedlings are going to get in there and they get, get away quickly so the plants are going to grow well and healthily and fast. Now, to get your seedlings out of the tray, you just be a little bit forceful, but you don't want to pull from above because you'll damage the roots or the foliage. Push up underneath like that. And then hopefully when you tip the tray upside down, so there's a well-rooted seedling. You can see the roots are just near the surface of the soil. This plant's ready to go. So the guide is that you want to dig a hole which is the same size as the soil mass underneath your seedling. Pop your seedling into the soil so that the soil of the seedling meets the soil of the garden and then just gently firm it down so that you know you've got good root contact between the soil of the garden and the roots of your seedling. So I'm going to water these in. Now I am going to keep the rows on for the lettuce because I don't want to wash it away. This lettuce seedling here, it's still quite young and it's likely to dry out if I'm not careful. Um, if there's any strong winds around, they could damage it. So I'm going to put a juice bottle, which is at the bottom cut off it. I've taken the lid off, so that's going to protect it from the wind. It's going to keep moisture in. It'll also help to keep some slugs out. But to keep the moisture in the soil around this seedling, I'm going to also put some pea straw around it too. When this needs extra water, I just water in through the top here like this. And once this lettuce has grown and the foliage is starting to touch the sides of this juice bottle cloche, I'll take it off and it can finish its business.